In this parametric tower tutorial, I want to show you how you can model the tornado tower easily in Grasshopper. And as you can see, this is not uh, a complicated tutorial. So first, I'm going to explain uh, how you can model the surface. As you can see here, I can simply change the model by changing these parameters and the radius of those circles. Then I'm going to explain how you can uh, simply produce uh, the structure on that. As you can see here, we can also change this by these numbers, uh, the number of the U direction and the V division. And at the end, we are going to uh, make uh, the details, as you can see here, the pipes and also the windows behind the structure. So this tutorial will show you how you to model a parametric tower, which is basically the tornado tower. Okay, to start from scratch, uh, as you can see in this image, this is basically the tower, and it simply circles lofting to produce the surface. So you can see that we have a circle here, maybe another circle here, and at the top. So these are just connected together by a loft. So what we want to do is simply uh, go to the curve section and use this circle to make a circle. So here I go and put this here and put the bifocals plug in so you can see what I'm doing, okay. So the base of this is the plane of the circle and you can see that this is an XY plane and that is why it's just producing a circle on the XY plane. So what we can do is to simply, uh, there's a shortcut to this, we can go to the vector section and choose the construct point. And when you connect a point, I've just explained that before, when you connect a point to a plane, it assumes uh, that it's an XY plane. So when you connect a point to a plane, it's an XY plane, and we can just give three different Z coordinates to produce uh, three different circles. We just made this and use this technique in uh, other tutorials too. Uh, so what I want to do is to go to the uh, params and use this gene pool tool again because we can simply give that more and more than three circles if we want. Double click on the gene pool and just make this uh, three number sliders. This will be the height, so let's just make this to 400. And this will be the start, the middle of that, and at the end. So let's give that to the Z coordinate. And you can see this. So this is the center of the first circle, the second circle, and the last one. Uh, then we can just copy another this, uh, of this gene pool and give this a range between maybe 20 to 100 and use this for the radius. So you can see that this is for the first circle, the second one, and the last one. So uh, we can simply just change these numbers. And at the end, we have to make a surface from these three circles. So we go to the surface and use the loft tool. So this is going to be easy. We can simply just connect them together by a loft. And now you can see how easy it is to change the location of the mid circle, change the radius and basically the starting circle and the ending circle. So you can always, uh, okay, let's just decrease that height and now we can change that. Maybe something similar to this. Okay, so at the end, what we want to do is to produce this structure. So you can go to uh, the Launchbox plugin and you have to download this. So I'm, I'm going to put this in our website, so you can also uh, download the plugin and install that. It's not really hard, and we have talked about this before. You can simply go to the structure and use this uh, uh, diagrid structure here. So what we want to do is to give this pattern to the surface, and let's just turn this off, or we can just see that, okay? The U division and the V division, let's just give this a number. I'm going to copy this and give this to U and V and increase that. Okay, basically when we are working in, uh, with a closed surface like this, which is a revolved uh, surface by a curve, we can always use uh, even numbers because there will be some problems here. So I'm going to always 
switch to even, double click on the number slider and put that on even numbers. So here we have this and we can also uh, change the numbers to produce better results. Okay, and as you can see, this gives us the lines. If I bake this, we can simply see the lines of this structure is being produced. And we're going to okay, go to the grasshopper and go to the surface and use the pipe tool. So let's just give this to the pipe and turn everything off and turn those circles off and we're good to go. So you can see how easy it is if we want to make those in pipes. We just zoom in, turn this off and zoom on the project. Okay, so you can see that I can change this and this will change the overall result. And as you can see here, we also had in the project, we had a surface on that to produce those panels. I want to explain that too. But for now, uh, what, going, what we're going to do is to use an offset surface tool to offset this surface inwards. So let's just give this a number, distance. And remember, if it just goes uh, outwards, you have to give this a minus six. You can simply go to the expression and type a minus x here, and this will just fix the surface. Okay, so we can just uh, bring this a little bit inside. And as you can see in this example, I've just made this a little bit shorter. So uh, I can explain uh, and repeat another tool which we talked about before, and that's the isotrim tool. So we can simply go to here and type isotrim. This is basically the main uh, tool. I have many plugins, so this has just been added here. So you can also go to the surface utility and the isotrim is here. We can give this to the surface. Uh, we always reparameterize this. If you don't know that, I will put that in the card section. We talked about flattened graphs and reparameterizing that tutorial. And now what we want to do is to pick a little bit, uh, pick a little bit of that surface here. So I'm going to go to the math domain and pick the construct domain two and give this to the domain two. And you can see that this is the U minimum and maximum. So perhaps this is U. I don't know really. I'm going to check that out. And V is something like that. So what we're going to do is to start with U. Let me give that a little number smaller than 1. And this shows that this is the U direction. You can see that this is picking up here. So we can just give this number to the U maximum and put a um, 1 minus. Uh, X. Let me just explain that on this drawing. If we have this surface, okay, this is the surface. So assume that this is the U direction. Okay, I'm going to show you the show you the direction here. So this is going to be the U, and this is the V direction. So this is going to be the V, and because we reparameterize re that, it's going to be from 0 to 1 and what we're going to do is to pick a part of that surface so if we assume that we started from here and it's something like 0 0.04 we can simply just uh, go to here to this location which will be 1 minus 0 0.04 right so this will help us to always have the same distance from the start and the end and you can simply make that by typing 1 minus x. And the v is going to be the complete surface because we want a complete surface. So we can go to the u maximum expression and 1 minus x. And you can see that by increasing that number, you can always have the same distance on the start uh, and the end of the surface. So this will be the way you can do that. If you give the uh, another number smaller than 1 to the v, you can see that this is basically how the 0 to 1 works, okay? So you can always change that. You can also use that for the uh, structure line. If you want to do that, you can simply just bring this forward and give this a number. So maybe you just want to cover a, a portion of a structure 
of the building and the back is the uh, main structure so you can always change this number if you want to uh, take a partial part of that surface so remember you can always do that okay let's just take that back to the loft surface and go here we don't need this v minimum maximum team and now we, what we want to do is to uh, make those uh, square panels that is easy in lunchbox you can easily use the quad panels here so let's just do that we can again give numbers to this u division and v division let's just turn this off and here we have those panels at the back so in order to see that i'm going to also use the panel frame in the launchbox plugin and give this a scale factor between 0 and 1 maybe 85 percent turn this off and here we go and what we want to do is to also go to the display section and connect the custom preview to the frame and the panel so let's just connect this and turn this off and i'm going to use a swatch to maybe give a blue color to the windows a black one to the frames and we can also connect this to the pipes so we can give a white color to the pipes so you can easily see that okay so we can also increase the number maybe we just need 24 to 24 okay you can increase that and you can also change the scale factor to maybe something 0 0.9 to make this smaller or bigger and now we can simply bake those outputs in different layers so you can simply bake that into layer one and bake that into layer two and bake this into layer three and give that different materials which i'm going to do and put on the cover of this video as you can see here uh, as you just clicked on this to reach the tutorial so as you can see we can simply uh, model the building and the tower the parametric tower will uh, be modeled by uh, three circles but you can also increase the number so if you want to do that uh, and because this uh, okay pipe thing is maybe a little bit challenging I'm going to turn that off turn the structure on maybe turn this offset off so I can just see the uh, structure lines just give this to a curve so we can turn this off turn the nodes off okay so we can also increase that to four increase that to four perhaps we have to have step-by-step -step height for the building so we can just change this okay and then again we can just change the start and the end as the same and maybe play with those radiuses to just uh, reach the best results we can have so we can just look at that at the front and play with those numbers okay so you can always change those uh, z-coordinates to produce different results that's it so this is the way okay we can just turn this on and turn this pipe thing on and have a new result so maybe this is another building and this is the way you can uh, model the tornado uh, parametric tower thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel and you can also watch uh, something that is related to this video that corner and see you next time